Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Ruiner. Now Ruiner doesn't really have any kind of description that I can give to it so I'm just gonna start the game and you can judge for yourself and if you would like to check out the Steam store page for this game then the link is in the description. Anyway let's start a new game and uh, yes I do want to start a new game. I've been, I've been playing quite a bit of this. Anyway yes do it. Okay, so we're going to be playing on normal. I feel like normal is actually a pretty decent level because it's not too difficult, but it's not too easy either. So it kind of gives you a balance between boring and please just stop, you know, that sort of thing. In the year 2091, pervasive advancements in technology and computerization haven't changed human nature. Playing with people's lives has never been more fun. Three, two, one, all systems online. You are in heaven. You're here to kill the boss. They know you're here. Do what I say if you want to live. Now let's test out these controls. All right, so of course this is the tutorial. I didn't really want to jump in ahead of this because there's actually a pretty cool story going on here so we're gonna have to go through the tutorial a little bit and I might skip ahead dependent on what actually happens but yeah we're gonna use a mouse to look around and everything I have actually heard that playing with a controller is sometimes better for this but I personally feel like the mouse and keyboard is just a little bit faster to react I guess maybe that's just me I guess it's all personal preference anyway Let's have some fun, boys. Bring them down, says the guards. They're corporate soldiers. They're short-tempered and they're hardwired. Yeah, so now you kind of know why I really couldn't describe the game, because it is a melding of a few different things. But this is the kind of game that you would expect from Devolver Digital, who are the publishers of this game. And I absolutely love everything that Devolver Digital publishes, hilariously enough. Anyway, let's dash. Yes, as you could see, this is your main survival mechanic. You certainly want to use this to survive. If you don't, you're gonna die. <laughs> very quickly actually because even though you see that I have 4 HP at the top there that is actually not going to really help you that much and when you encounter enemies with some shotguns which you inevitably will they kill you very fast Ah, slow motion. Dash to the enemy. Let's do it. I can see you. Ooh, that was a bit close for my liking, but it's okay. 
And you also have an energy meter. Now, energy is used to power, as you could just see there, skills and gadgets. So there's a wide variety of different skills here. For now, we're going to be using the energy shield, but there are a wide variety of different things, as you can see. I mean, just huge amounts. So yeah, let's use the energy shield. Now this is very necessary in some parts of the game. And it is necessary here as well. Is the sentry on? I don't know. It's not firing. What the hell is happening? No clue. Okay, apparently that guy doesn't know anything. <laughs> it ain't safe. Oh, well, he does know something. What do we do now? Keep our heads down. Oh, okay, so you're gonna keep your head down? Alright. Should I just go ahead then? Yeah, there's the sentry gun. Yeah, it protects you from all damage while your energy is still intact. So that's pretty amazing, right? Well, that's the thing. It doesn't protect you as long as you attack. So if you're attacking, you're gonna die very fast if you're against one of those sentries. Oh yeah, and I should probably also mention, when you're actually out of the tutorial area, you get ranked on how well you do, and that means how much combo you have, whether you've died a lot, and so on and so forth, you can actually get ranked up to S+. So yeah, there's a lot of room for maneuvering there. Ah, and now here's, in my opinion, the best weapon that I've so far encountered in the game, with the exception of some... Mm, some rather powerful ones. This is your main primary ranged weapon that you're going to be using against bosses. I personally feel like using this against bosses is better than using other weapons, because other weapons actually run out of ammunition. This has eight rounds, but after the eight rounds, it just reloads and keeps on going. It's pretty cool. And it also has sort of bouncing bullets, which is kind of cool too. And as I was talking about, enemies drop, well, weapons that have limited ammo. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could pick up this assault rifle, and it has 30 rounds. Now, I personally feel like it's not really worth it to do that, because when you're playing the actual game out of the tutorial level, you have this thing called a weapon disintegrator or something along those lines and basically what that means is it disintegrates all the weapons in the area and generates experience for you and experience in this game is called karma so you get even more karma by doing that so let's do this there we go yeah you can set predetermined dash points because when you hold right mouse button in in this case because obviously I'm using a keyboard then Time slows down, and you have a little bit of time to sort of decide where you want to go. So if you wanted to, you could just do this. And obviously, as you upgrade your character, you gain even more charges. So you can dash even more, which is really cool. 
All right, so dash to the spotlight. Let's pick up this. Yes. Boys. All right. Was that it? Ah, no, no, of course not. Oh yeah, there's also small hacking mini games that you can do. And they will give you access to optional areas, to weapons like this for example, and they'll even be used to complete some side quests. I'm gonna pick up another one of these energy rifles. And that's the guy I was talking about. Using a shotgun, he's going to kill you very quickly. Unless you stay far away from him, like I did. Go, 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 go! And there's the first death. Yeah. We can actually restart in the same exact area that we entered, so it's instant restart basically. Which is absolutely fine. But I need to play a little bit better this time.
Sometimes life can be so simple. You wanna kill my boss? I'm here to make sure you don't. That's all there is to this. Everything as it should be. And I'll drink to that when we're done. Get him, boys! Well, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't. Alright, zero hour. The boss waits behind this door. I'm setting a timer. You die when it reaches zero. Killing your enemies will delay the inevitable. Fight as fast as you can if you want to live. Alright, let's do it. That was not a very good start. Holy shit, not too late, am I? You okay? Nod or look around. Let's nod. I've been trying to reach you. Someone hacked your damn brain. This is a setup. They sent you to assassinate the boss of heaven. There's more bad news. They took your brother to make sure you do the job. That means they'll kill him unless we get him back first. Get out of here fast. Head to Rencock South. I'll contact you there. And there you go, so now we get a little bit of a summary of what we were able to do there, and I died twice, unfortunately, so that means an A rank for me. Probably would have done a little bit better if I'd been somewhat faster, I suppose. I think speed is of the essence when it comes to the rankings. What do we have here? An early Christmas present? You're in bad shape, boy, in need of a few spare parts. Yeah, so we hid here after that shit show in heaven. Not a great place, but there are good people here. Good for us anyway. Mechanic says, still alive, I see. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't brought you back myself. Do you remember anything at all how you got here? Shrug. Whatever happened, left you a mess, boy. I fished you out the gutter with one arm gone and blood and wiring everywhere. That mask of yours was going in all kinds of haywire. Normally, I'd have scrapped you for parts. I helped you only because she asked me to. Although, asked doesn't exactly cut it. 
I put your face plate back together with spit and glue and bubble gum. <laughs> and I've installed a new arm. Took some doing. Your hardware is older than dirt. I also fixed you a new citizenship. Thought you might need a fresh start. You can now earn your karma back and be a legal customer. Sort of. Let me show you how it works. So, this is the ups upgrade system and these are skill points, obviously. So, there's a huge, absolutely huge skill tree here. And, well, suffice it to say, they explain everything extremely well. Because, as you can see here, there is even a tutorial in a video right in the game. So, if you don't know how to use the skill in question, just look at that. And you can even resize it so you can see it in full screen as well. Anyway, that will be it for the special feature. If you'd like to see more, then let me know. And just a small reminder that the link is in the description if you want to check out this game. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.